Hey, you! Yes, you! Well, welcome to my little humble abode type thing. Um, you, you, you don't know me, but you could say that I'm a little bit of a collector. Um, I'll show you what that means right away, so if you please come with me right here, we can check out my awesome looking lab. So this here is the entrance. I hope you like it. We got some pretty neat flags around here. And ooh, inside is the best part of all. I'll show you every single item from my collection. Of course, the outside is a bit um, rusty. The, the roof's pretty nice though. I'm kind of working on it. It's hopefully gonna get a lot better. Maybe if we can open it to become some kind of museum sometime. That'd be so cool. Anyways, so uh, yeah, let's let's head inside. This is a very cool place. Oh yeah, don't don't dawdle, please. Come along, dude. All right. So uh, yeah. First off, we got the pretty cool um little Minecraft mob plushy things. They're statues, but I like to call them plushies. Cause plushies are a lot cooler than statues. Um in terms of they are worth a lot more in the collector's market. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And next we have the pretty cool pieces of armor and we got some red, red flags because why not? Um, and they're all, I believe, original pieces from uh, ninjas, um, people who have fought in the war, I don't know. <laughs> they're pretty cool though. Anyways, so uh, yeah, then we have my little workshop type place just around here. Um, we got some pretty mint um, looking workbenches, and that is awesome. Ooh, ooh, and then we got my little mosaic wall. So we got some green ones, we got some cyan ones, we got some orange ones, we got some red ones, we got some green ones, we got some blue ones, purple. It's pretty awesome. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're getting into the cool stuff now. Follow me, follow me. Um, so this here is my amazing enchanting table. So, um, this was actually taken from Gandalf the Great himself he donated it to me don't worry I would never steal um, from him but uh, yeah from, from him <laughs> and uh, yeah so this place is pretty cool we got a little lights and a restaurant it and of course we got the surrounding lava just for the sake of it ooh and now people um this is the part which I don't usually present to a lot of people these are the mod cores so look at these these green babies and some non-green babies um, are what make Minecraft mods. They are like the centers of the mods. They are what the mod is contained in. I don't know how I found them. I kind of went adventuring, collected a few of them. Yeah, they're very, very cool. So we got some different types, some for bigger mods, some for smaller ones. And yeah, they are pretty awesome. They're my most pri- they're like the best part of my collection. And every day I'm adding new mods to them. So, uh, yeah, ooh, ooh, and see that shiny one, the one that's flashing, that one, that one right there, see it? Yeah, well, that, that, my friends, is the ultimate mod core. I, I don't know really what it does, it doesn't really contain a mod, it's just pretty cool. Now, if anyone were to actually take hold of these mods, that could be quite dangerous. Um, cause you know, the mods still coexist with Minecraft, but if someone was to unleash the power from a single mod core, the effects would be disastrous. Anyways, that's enough for today. Hope you enjoyed this little tour. I know there's not much to it. I got a big seller of a bunch of stuff, and uh, I'll hopefully be opening that soon or adding a few new additions to the museum. Anyways, um, would you kindly head out the door because today's tour is over. So yeah, hope you did enjoy and uh, yeah, I'll just go polish some more mod cores. Yeah, the mod cores are great. At least they were. Mechazor unleashed every single mod, creating a new dimension for every single one of them. Things were horrible, things were down, but we had to look to the light. We could still stop him. We could get to all the mods before he could. We could save the mod cores. We can do it. And with that, the Minecraft Mod Chronicles begin.